Hello, this is a review of a studio press theme called Parallax Pro. It's a professional looking theme that's fairly easy to set up and you don't need loads of content to get started. The front page is made up from four sections containing a headline, teaser text and a button that links to an inner, pa inner page. There's also one section that contains a pricing table and a big bold call to action box at the bottom. So there's a first sec section with an image background, second section has got a plain white background, third section with an a different image, then there's a pricing table. This is a, um, a plugin called Simple Social Icons, lets you link to your um, Facebook page or anything like that and then at the bottom you've got this big bold call to action box if you want to use this pricing table here you'll need to copy and paste some simple HTML um, but you'll have to put in the, the, the your text actually inside the uh, inside the HTML it's, it doesn't have a WYSIWYG easy way to uh, to edit that there are five colour options with this theme and the main difference when you, when you change the colour is the big call to action box at the bottom. So now we've got a pink call to action at the bottom there. If we change the colour to blue, change the colour of the call to action, it changes the colour of these hover uh, links here and the colour of uh, text links in your site. But it's the main difference when you change colour the, the real diff difference you'll notice is this box at the bottom. The home page uses three large background images this, like this and they're 1600 by 1050 in the demo. Now to change an image go to appearance, customize, appearance, customize, background images and just click the change image button and it'll let you change the image for something else. Parallax Pro Theme has three menus available. You've got the header right with your area here. You've got the primary navigation and just above the footer you've got the secondary navigation down here. Now the Studio Press demo doesn't use this primary navigation uh, but it is available if you want to switch it on. I've, I've just switched off this navigation so we'll reset the page. It's gone. You can enable or disable breadcrumbs these and the post info and post meter this appears above and below your posts but if you want to we can switch both of those off so to go to, to do the breadcrumbs we go to Genesis theme settings scroll down to breadcrumbs and just untick any of the places you don't want breadcrumbs to appear if you want to you can selectively pick, place them on posts or pages or wherever I removed them from everywhere. I also want to get rid of this text here and to do that you need a plugin and it's called Gen Genesis Simple Edits. Now once you've installed the plugin it, under your Genesis tab in your sidebar in your um, dashboard you'll have Simple Edits and you've got Entry Meter which I want to get rid of and entry meter below above and below the content. Now there are loads of short codes, if you click this link it shows you short codes you can use to check, to edit what, what appears there. I want to completely get rid of it. I'll click save and now this will disappear and that will disappear and make the page look a lot cleaner. So it looks a lot cleaner now. Now that might or might not be what you want but if it is what you want it's a nice easy way to do it. Now you've got three basic page types, page layout types. You've got full width page layout type and that gives you 
this nice no sidebar kind of an effect. You've also got blog type listings. Each category can have its own listing page and you can put a bit of blurb at the top of the page and then it lists the posts one at a time underneath. I used 300 by 300 featured images for this. The, the images are not square so that's why the featured image is not square. Um, but the, the option I chose was 300 by 300 featured image to make the, uh, the effect there. You've also got content sidebar. So you've got your page at one side and the sidebar at the other. Then to make it look good if you use a sidebar you'll need to put something uh, something that looks nice in the sidebar. This is a featured post widget and I've included three widgets, uh, three posts in the featured post widget. Um, that's another widget for the simple social icons, same as we had on the front page. And this one is the um, eNews Extended plugin for, to, to, for a MailChimp sign up. You've also got a landing page, it's just a really clean, empty page, no uh, header, footer, nav bar, sidebar, anything. And these are great if you use pay per click or anything like that where you want a really clean landing page with no distraction this is a really good uh, option if you do use a sidebar you'll have to think carefully about what you put in the sidebar to make it look uh, sort of bright if you just have text in the sidebar it really will look plain these images these are featured images and they're 150 square but uh, you, you do need to think hard about making the sidebar look good if you just just use plain text it will look plain if you want to style this eNews extended sign up box but you don't want to edit the CSS yourself you could buy a, the Genesis Design Palette Pro plugin but it's $50 um, now I've made a review of Design Palette Pro showing you what it does sort of basic overview um, and I'll put a link to that and some other useful pages underneath this blog post or the, well, the video on YouTube I've also made um, a video about adding author boxes under each post and um, a, a setup video about Padlax Pro. The important thing to remember about Genesis Design Palette Pro plugin is number one, it's not free, you've got to buy it. There's three different price options and it doesn't work with all Genesis themes there's a list on the website but it does work with Parallax Pro. On some Studio Press themes you can do something called pulling images left or right. <coughs> Pardon me. I've just put a big letterbox image at the top of my post there and then in the post I put an image on the left hand side but this is called a pull, pull left image so if we edit the post And then we edit the image see here it says advanced options and it says pull hyphen left and that CSS class there is what makes it sort of pop out at the edge of the page so if we go back view the post see it sticks out from the text there and that's called pulled left can do the same at the right hand side but that is a feature that's not available on all studio press themes it is available on parallax pro if you want to make your images and pull left or right like this it's only available on the full width pages not on pages with a sidebar so what's my verdict i think parallax pro is a great theme for a small business website with an integrated blog it's relatively easy to set up and it's compatible with Design Palette Pro if you've got some extra money to spend and you want to make little changes to the way the site looks. It's been constantly popular since it was released and I think there's a good reason for that. I think it's a really good theme for a small business. Anyway, 
oh i'll put a link underneath this site underneath the video on youtube to uh, to my site where there's loads more information about this theme and about other studio press themes and setting themes up things like that thanks for watching and bye for now